Hi everybody, why don't you go and grab a cuppa with me and then grab a cuppa with me because that is the name of Patton Emporium's brand new Cardigan Patton release. I'm grabbing a bit of sunshine here this afternoon because it's actually quite a nice day. The sun's out, it's still very chilly and I find cardigans to be the best thing for this time of year. I love the fact that Kate bought out another pattern so close to her last release. And judging by my Instagram feed, you'll see that cardigans are one of the most loved items in my wardrobe. I just can't get enough of them. Uh, recently, you will remember the Reconnect cardigan that was very, very popular. Long line cardigan, quite fitted. This is a very different one. And I love the fact that Pattern Emporium creates patterns that are so wearable and versatile in the wardrobe. And I love the fact that there's all, always different kinds of versions you can make. You can glam them up and you can also make them very casual as well. So the newest pattern, grab a cuppa. It uh, has three different versions. I have made two of mine in the hip length version because I have so many long line cardigans. I really thought I'm going to try and make a couple of different styles to what I already have. There is also a cropped version, which I love. I think that would be fantastic for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere if you're wanting a little topper for a summer dress. Now, this is made for knit fabric. So think about things like your sweater knits, your fleeces. I've made this one in a lovely fleece which is the cloud brush fleece cotton from my online store this has been selling out so fast and i have on the nutmeg color and this actual fleece itself is a 320 gsm so very beautiful weight nice and warm and cozy i've only got a little time out tank underneath this and it's actually quite warm because you've got that beautiful fleece it's got that beautiful fleece on the side so you'll see it's very very soft and cozy uh, and i've actually popped some little uh, well, they're quite chunky actually some leopard print buttons which i absolutely love and they are also in the online store so this is the hip length version i've made both of mine the same length i just find it a really versatile style to wear back with jeans and even with dresses and skirts as well um kate has made a beautiful long line version from the cuddle fleece from my online store that pink fabric has sold out but i am getting more in next week so if you're wanting some of that please let me know either email me at kristen at the daily society and i will try and hold some for you but it is coming and i say as it's kate showed on her video uh, her lookbook the other night and it sold out within like the day it was all gone so there is still some caramel left in that colorway which is a beautiful color as well so the cuddle knit i will show you in a moment my blue version but i'm going to put some pics and some video up of my cloud fleece version in this nutmeg color i just love nutmeg it's just a beautiful color for wearing back with so many other colors uh, i love the fact that this has got a gorgeous kind of a bishop style sleeve with that beautiful deep cuff um great good lot of room there in the sleeves to wear over different tops so if you've got another long sleeve top underneath it'll be fine I love the fact that it's it can be made up within an hour. I've had both of mine whipped up within an hour. And of course, the buttons and buttonholes will take a lot extra time. But if you don't want to worry about putting buttons on, you can leave that off. Or you can put things like snaps on to make it easier or completely leave it without any fastenings at all. It's a great pet for doing that. So here's some pics and video so you can see exactly how mine looks. So again, getting back to different varieties of knits, you can use any type of sweater style knit. Uh, if you're in a, a warmer climate at the moment, the Northern Hemisphere, maybe think about things like your rayon elastine and cotton jerseys and things like that that are light and stretchy. And I can even imagine this done in a stretch lace or a mesh knit fabric would be beautiful as well for all those warm uh, countries at the moment. Uh, especially for wearing over a little strappy dress and the crop version i'd seen so many testers do that and that looked beautiful so a great versatile pattern for all year round uh, size range on this is fantastic it's size 4 to 30 i've made both of mine in my usual pattern emporium size which is a size 14 such a fantastic wearable pattern as i say very very simple and easy and i love the way that kate has added that kind of bishop sleeve detail to such a simple pattern as well so it's quick and easy to sew 
though, but also very versatile. Depending on the fabric you put it with, you can either dress it up or down, but so practical for layering. I think a long line version of this would be beautiful. You can almost make it look like a Cotigan style, depending on your chunkier style knit that you might want to use. And things like your buttons can really make a difference to how you want it to look as well. So I am a bit addicted to buttons at the moment. I do have quite a lot in the online store as well. So head on over to have a look, but a lot of the Arrow Mountain ones have been very popular as well if you're wanting more of a unique style handmade button and I also love a good looking kind of chunky coat style button as well it really does set off the pattern um, it's almost like adding an accessory to to the make once you've done it and really can jazz it up beautifully the gorgeous cloud fleece does come in a couple of colors there is the forest color which is a beautiful deep almost like bottle green. There's also a beautiful blush kind of nude pink colour. Uh, the azalea has sold out and hopefully can get some more of that in as well. Um, but the nutmeg, I just find a really great versatile colour for wearing in the wardrobe. It looks gorgeous with things like your cream, your navies and also over denim. Uh, I'm actually thinking about making a denim shirt dress. Uh, I'm really craving more shirt dress styles because I find them very practical and wearable in the wardrobe. The fantastic thing about this is that I made this version in 1.1 or 1.2 meters. This actual cloud fleece is 175 wide, so it's extremely wide, uh, beautiful weight, as I spoke about before, but I wanted to try and get as much as I could out of that 1.1 meter that I had, and it really did. So if you're looking at the hip length to the crop length, Oh, I think one meter of a very wide fabric, you can get it done quite easily. If you're going for a longer line version, I think Kate said most of the uh, variations of this pattern, you can get out of 1.5 meters quite easily. Uh, and if you're gonna shorten your sleeves as well, that will take a fair bit off the uh, fabric requirements too, but a really good pattern. If you are low on fabric and you're wanting to use up some remnants that you may have in your stash. Love the way the cuffs sit as well. And I always take a little smidge off the length of my sleeve. Let me show you the next version I've made. This is in that beautiful cuddle knit which was, was also on my online store. The moment I've got the caramel colour left, I've sold out the blue and the spearmint and the pink but I am getting more pink next week. So if you want to be kept up to date with that make sure you sign up to the newsletter that way I can let you know when new fabrics arrive because I do get asked quite a bit when I'm getting new stock in and I usually send newsletters out at least once a week to keep you guys all on top of that. So these are the pics of my beautiful Blue Heaven Cuddle Knit Fleece. I love this one, it's just so cozy. I don't know if you guys remember seeing this fabric when I showed it, it feels like a baby blanket. It's got that kind of very soft minky fleece, the rayon blend, which is really lovely. And it does have that inside, has actually got that beautiful kind of French terry look to it. So you're not having that fleece on the inside, just the outside. And unlike the cloud fleece, which is what I've got on, you've got the brushed on the outer and the fleecy on the inner. So it's really nice to see all different types of weights and thicknesses of knits. Um, and you really just need to have a good uh, two-way stretch for this pattern as well. Uh, I love the fact that if you remember to use things like um, your notch placements, things like notch placement for your um, neck binding, um, you'll know where to, where to join them up to where your shoulder seam is and it really helps you then to place the binding. Remember that it will hang a bit lower because you do need to put a bottom binding hem band on that as well. So great instructions as always that Kate uses there. I think her visuals for her instructions are like no other pattern company. She really does set the bar very high there with um, the way her technique for instructions goes. And I always like to have a bit of a read through first to make sure I know what I'm doing. Um, but I can find that most pattern pouring patterns I can have whizzed up uh, within a good afternoon and yeah, just have it all ready to go. And it's one of those patterns you'll find the more you, the more you make, the more you find room for in the wardrobe that you may have a few gaps there. Uh, it's a great little versatile pattern. This actual um, version of hip length, I've used some really pretty um, buttons from Arrow Mountain and I will be getting more of her buttons in my online store as well. Her buttons are very unique. These are made from recycled plastic. She really does have such a unique talent for making gorgeous little handmade buttons and some really beautifully detailed ones there as well. 
So I hope you've enjoyed that pattern release. Don't forget there are plenty more patterns on sale this week with this uh, grab a cup of cardigan because uh, the fact is that when Kate does release a new pattern, the patterns that she shows in her look video are usually always on sale at the same time. And I would really appreciate if you would use my affiliate link, link below in the description box. That does help give my channel a small commission that goes back into giving you guys more episodes. So I really appreciate those of you who've used that. Um, and yeah, a great time to save yourself 15% off. The pattern is on sale until Sunday night. Don't forget too, we have our bespoke box released. The Moulin Rouge box is released Sunday night at 7 p.m. It's the 10th of July here in Australia, of course. That's Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if any of you from uh, overseas are wanting to purchase that, don't forget we are in the different time zone. You need to keep a little bit of a calendar, a little bit of an alarm clock there to let you know when the uh, box will be released and a really exciting exciting theme for Moulin Rouge. Uh, I'm talking about, of course, Baz Luhrmann films. I went and saw the Elvis movie yesterday and absolutely loved it. I can highly recommend it to any of you, uh, whether you're an Elvis fan or not, because I think if, you, if you're if you not an Elvis fan and you see this, you certainly will be by the end of it because it really does showcase his life in a way it never seen before, but I absolutely loved it. Uh, I would definitely go back and watch it again if I had the time and, uh, yeah, really, really loved it. I love what it was, um, how, how the movie was made and of course cast and a lot of it was made here in Australia as well. So fantastic movie. I will be having a Sunday morning episode out all on a good catch up for what's been happening here. Of course, I had my 50th birthday yesterday and last weekend we all went out and had a really lovely family celebration. I've got pics from that to show you guys. And I also want to let you know, um, let you see what I ended up making, what I wore. Uh, and I think a couple of you may have seen that in the newsletter that's been released as well. Um, so there's some yeah some beautiful pics there and we just had a really lovely relaxing day with some close family and friends and yeah it was just a lovely way to celebrate. I think after the last couple of years being locked down it makes you realise how important it is to have family time and catch up with those special people in your life so lots to fill you in on there too. So I have got plenty of makes to show you. I still haven't properly caught up with a good catch-up episode to let you know what's happening and what I've been making. I've got lots and lots of makes um, that you wouldn't have seen yet so I think you're going to really enjoy what I've got to show you and of course it was a really hard decision uh, deciding what to sew for the 50th oh, gosh I really really struggled um, but I also made a beautiful coat that I can't wait to show you guys as well in some of my coating fabric in the online store there so it's so lovely when you get to make some beautiful makes and get to wear them out as well so I got some new fabrics coming in the online store uh, in the next week or so I will have some beautiful new viscose ponties uh, absolutely stunning and a lot of the pattern emporium patterns that I love work beautifully in in, uh, in ponties as well that really nice soft viscose ponty it's just so lovely to wear as well really love that Kate's given so much inspiration if you have I haven't headed over to see her lookbook. Uh, I think it's very worthwhile doing it to see all the versions that she's made. And I also love the one she's done with a different kind of patch, uh, different printed sleeves to the bodice. You can really see how you could mix and match. Um, there's pockets as well that I've opted to leave off mine, but Kate's done some with the pockets as well. Um, and the one with the pockets looks exceptionally good without the buttons as well. So you can sort of have either or either, but really practical little handy cardigan pattern to have in the wardrobe. I think you can never have enough cardigan patterns uh, as you'll see on my Instagram grid there's so many that I love but I really do love a good uh, crop style cardigan pattern because I find I'm liking that in the wardrobe thanks for watching don't forget go and grab a cuppa and maybe grab a cuppa as well and uh, you won't be disappointed in this brand new pattern from Pattern Emporium if you haven't subscribed to the channel I would love it if you could do that as well that, that way you won't miss out on any new episodes that are released and that's usually twice a week and take care everyone have a beautiful sewing weekend and we'll catch up with you very shortly. Bye for now.